Now, I-4 in Polk County is slowly beginning to reopen after a fiery crash. We've been following this all morning, and that's our top story this hour. A tractor trailer overturned in Polk City, and it just caught on fire. Traffic backed up for miles going in both directions, and now we are starting to see a little bit of a difference outside. We're going to check in with in on your side, Xavier Harris, live on the scene. You've been there for several hours, Xavier. What's going on now? Hey, good morning, Deanne. A lot different, a big difference from what we saw earlier. Right now, I am on I-4 in the westbound lanes, uh, and it's still closed right now, but it looks like things may be about to open. We've seen several of the trucks out here moved, and they even put up these orange cones uh, to kind of, looks like they're about to open at least maybe one or two of the lanes, but crews are still out here working. They've been at it for over five hours. Now, you can see it looks a lot different. Like I said, there was debris all over the interstate, and the second inv uh, vehicle involved has, been now, has now been towed away as well. But the big issue is this semi truck you can see here. Crews have been working to get that out. Uh, and something that we learned as we moved a little bit closer inside this truck, it looks like whole chickens on the inside. Uh, but here's what the scene looked like earlier this morning. You can see the white vehicle. It was involved. It was completely mangled up. Half of the car was gone. And we're told F FHP says the call came in at about 3.30 this morning of an overturned semi truck that was on fire. Now, this had the west and eastbound lanes shut down, but the eastbound lanes are now open and moving steady. Now, we know two people were hurt in this crash, both taken to the hospital, one seriously injured. At this time, it's unclear how the two vehicles collided. Now, coming back out here live, according to crew members on the scene, uh, it's not clear how much longer they'll be out here. Uh, but like I said earlier, the big issue was getting this semi truck off of the railing here. And you can see most of it has been burned. The bottom of the truck has been burned. Um, and, you know, we'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest developments either on air or on the WFLA app. This morning, we're live in Polk County. I'm Xavier Harris, 8 on your side. Gosh, I-4 westbound still closed, y'all. And I mean, just check this out. This is how serious this Polk City crash was. Take a look at your screens. On the left, that's what the scene looks like right now. You saw it from Xavier. They're cleaning things up. Hopefully, it'll, they'll reopen lanes soon. But check out the right side. That's what it looked like right after the crash happened. You see that smoke billowing. Make sure you keep up with this traffic situation uh, that's going on in that area. You can head over to WFLA.com.